going to come to laying on your front. You're going to bring one arm up into your swan dive type pose, so your elbow is in front of your shoulder. You're going to bring your other arm next to your shoulder. Then you're going to bend your knees. You're going to take your knees over to the side of the hand that is up in the air. And then you're going to just push with your other hand back to the ceiling. And we're going to hold it here for 30 seconds. So make sure you're breathing into that stretch. Don't hold your breath. And we're coming back to the middle. You're going to take your other hand up. So elbow comes in front of your shoulder. Other hand is placed next to your shoulder. Take your legs over to the side with the outstretched hand and just raise up onto the other wrist, holding it there. So just breathing into that stretch. Keep thinking belly back into spine. Keep that core engaged. And we've got 15 seconds to go. And coming back to the middle, bringing yourself back. You're going to come into a box and then we're going to do pigeon stretch. So from here, you're going to bring your left knee forward so it's behind your left hand. And then you're going to bring, hi Melody, your left foot forward. So your leg is parallel with your hands and then just slide your right leg away and hold it there. Now this is one that we're going to hold for a bit longer. So we're going to hold this one for 40 seconds. seconds to go. Then tucking your back toe, push yourself back up into your box. And then from there, you're going to bring your right knee behind your right hand and swivel your foot round to just where you can get it to slide that back leg out along the floor. Holding it there. seconds to go. Then tucking that back toe, pushing yourself up and bringing yourself back into your box. Then coming onto your back. So one of my stretches that I use in class quite often and people love to hate it and it's hamstring stretch. So we're coming onto our backs, cause engage and bringing one leg into the air. You're either holding on to the back of your thigh or the back of your calf, and then you're just going to hold it there. And this is another one. We're just going to hold it here for 45 seconds. Make sure you're breathing into that stretch. Try not to push your kneecap backwards. So think about having a soft knee. I don't mean a bent knee, just a soft knee. Holding it there. And then bringing that leg back to the floor, bringing the other leg up, either holding on to the back of your thigh or the back of your calf, holding it there, breathing into that stretch, keep that knee soft, make sure you don't lock out through that knee. And then from here, you're going to take your right leg out long along the floor. You're going to bring your left leg up. So it's sitting on top of your right leg. Left arm comes out to the side. And then just guide your right leg over 
no, your left leg over to the right hand side of your body. Just hold it where you can. So your knee might be in the air or you might be able to get yourself over. Make sure your shoulder blades stay on the mat. And you're just going to hold it where you can. So don't worry how far over you are. Don't push or bounce on it. Just hold it there gently. I was going to take this outside today and um, try the internet connection, but I might test it on Monday, I think, if the uh, weather agrees with me. I think we'll take it outside. And then slowly bringing that leg back up, taking that left leg out long, the right leg comes up and then is guided over to the left hand side of your body. Make sure that shoulder blade stays on the floor holding that nice stretch, feeling that stretch through your back, through the front or the back of your leg as well. I mean, I get it in a bit of both, to be honest. Holding it there. Walking your feet in, rolling yourself up to the sit. And giving yourself a pat on the back. Well done. That was our final fit in five of the week. I hope you enjoyed it. I will be back on Monday with another five exercises for another five minutes. If you have any requests, just give me a little comment and then I can try and make sure that I'm adding in exercises that for body parts that you want to stretch or body parts you want to strengthen. Take care, have an awesome bank holiday weekend.